Hi guys, welcome to this short video about my experience with two hair regrowth serums or yeah, just items. Uh, I've been struggling since years. I mean, I'm around 50 years old and I've been struggling for years with uh, hair loss. I'm male, yeah, of course. And uh, it's just a natural thing. I mean, it has to do with uh, when you get older, hormones and uh, DNA which you got from your parents and so on. And uh, I have been starting a couple of years ago with the uh, liquid here. I mean, the ingredient is the minoxidil uh, 5%. And this is the foam. I've been starting with the liquid because the liquid is much cheaper. The problem was then it was very greasy and it turned everything yellowish like my pillow, my bed and some clothes and so on. And uh, I decided to look or I was looking then for something better and I found that this foam is much less greasy. And uh, it really was uh, easier to apply but it still uh, turned everything yellowish. I don't know what it is, probably the minoxidil inside uh, turns everything yellowish, like the uh, bed sheets, pillow bed itself, some of the clothes, it's really nasty. Did it help? Yeah, not so much for me. I mean, the change was barely noticeable. I mean, when I, I was uh, putting this on, uh, regularly like twice a day which they suggest I had the impression that I had less hair loss but there was no like regrowth or so I mean they were saying like regrowth uh, it actually it never works for me I mean you see these magic images from other people I don't know if these are paid things uh, but for me it never worked and uh, actually a lot of these things have really bad reviews actually and a lot of people are saying yeah this thing doesn't do anything or very very uh, little I mean uh, it, it is not like a, a total scam uh, when you use this thing in really really strong concentration and you can put that actually everywhere even on your hands it starts growing hair but with the 5% it's probably just not enough at least not for everyone and not for me so because of the mess and the cost and everything I decided to switch to the witch hazel which some people claim is also working against hair loss and I've tried this now for about one year, uh, two times a day, similar to this thing. Of course, I also forgot sometimes similar to this thing here. But in general, if I didn't forget two times per day, what did it do? A, a similar thing. So the difference is very, very minor. I mean, the good thing, there's no uh, staining, there's no yellowish. The, it's definitely cheaper. It's more comfortable to apply it's really easy and nice and I think it's a good thing also for your skin in general. It calms your uh, skin if you have some uh, rash or irritations or so. This can also work against some hair loss if you have such things. But it's also not a miracle. Even if you do it uh, for one year or longer, two times a day, I can tell you uh, uh, again, no miracle. But I would still keep going with this thing because I really have the impression that I notice the difference in hair loss when you uh, wash your hair. You see the amount of hair you're losing and with this thing I had the impression that I'm losing less hair on a daily basis, similar to this one. So the thing which I'm going is the Witch Hazel, doesn't matter which brand you're using. Here's the Dickinson, if you want to buy it online you can buy it even on Amazon. I'll put down the link to this listing into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.